Hope you're having a fantastic Friday, and thanks for logging on to your Aggieland Carpet One forecast. I'm meteorologist Crystal Plone. Now, currently, the radar is pretty clear. We do have a few isolated showers in our far eastern counties, but those are very light, and they're going to continue to push off towards the north. That's the kind of activity we're going to continue to see through the majority of the afternoon. Now, these are your 24-hour rainfall totals. Most of this rain fell overnight and into the morning hours. You could see that most of us saw below half an inch of rain, but we did have a few areas see over an inch or even close to two and a half inches so we saw a ton of rainfall in some spots overnight and into the morning hours and we're going to add to these rainfall totals throughout the rest of the weekend temperature wise we're warming up quite nicely now that we are seeing sun seeing those temperatures in the mid to upper 70s in most counties but some places are even seeing the lower 80s so it's definitely a warm and humid day so far this is your 24 hour temperature change map so this tells us how much warmer or how much cooler we were from this time yesterday this is showing us that we are 5 to 10 degrees cooler than where we were this time yesterday, so it may feel a little bit more chilly, but not by too much. We do have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere to work with as well across the state of Texas and really across the southern states also. Anywhere that you see green means we do have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, so it is going to give us a chance to see some rain throughout the rest of the day today, but especially during your weekend. This is what we saw earlier this morning, a big line of strong thunderstorms moving through the state of Texas bringing flooding to the DFW Metroplex. Even my hometown of Plano was kind of underwater throughout part of the morning. But here in the Brazos Valley, we did see rain. Luckily, it wasn't too much to do too much damage across the area. But unfortunately, we do have to keep an eye on that throughout the weekend. This is tropical storm. This is a tropical storm in the Pacific Ocean. It's not going to affect our weather in the state of Texas, but it is pretty close to becoming a hurricane. And if it does, it will be the first hurricane to form this season. And hurricane season hasn't even started yet it's actually going to start on June 1st so here's what pinpoint forecast looks like we'll continue to keep a 30% chance of a scattered shower in the forecast for the afternoon and evening but one of our latest runs of this pinpoint forecast is indicating we could see a line of showers and thunderstorms develop into the early morning hours on Saturday and then move through the area throughout the morning hours. Some of those storms could be strong or severe as it moves through, but this is one computer model pointing it out. We have a few other ones that say we will remain dry through the morning hours, and the only way we'll be able to tell what's going to happen is as we continue through the rest of the day, we'll keep checking on those different computer models and see what they're kind of indicating. So that's one reason why you do need to stay connected to the forecast throughout the whole day today. But one thing's for sure, we are expecting to see rain at some point on Saturday. That's why we keep a 50% chance of rain in the forecast, so it will be another wet weekend. Ahead of that, there's a flash flood watch already in effect. It takes place tonight, and it stays in effect until Saturday morning for our northern three counties. So if you do live in those counties, just keep extra eye on the, ra the radar and the forecast. Today, we'll see our temperatures in the mid-80s. If we see more sun, then those temperatures could get closer to 90 degrees. We keep a 50% chance of rain in the forecast for Saturday and then decrease it again to Sunday, all thanks to a cold front stalling out over the Brazos Valley. But then take a look at next Next week, we have 20% chances of rain every single day, so rain's going to be more isolated versus widespread like we have been seeing, and temperatures will also remain warm in the mid-80s, and it will also be on the humid side as well. So keep an eye on the forecast throughout the day today so we can really see if a line does form out to the west and move into the Brazos Valley. Other than that, keep your umbrella with you, especially during the weekend, and keep your app handy as well as we do have rain in the forecast. But for now, have a good rest of your Friday.